Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bronte. For those of you that are new here, I am a stay-at-home mama to two. I have a little boy named Tegan who is almost four, and I have a little girl named Kingsley who is almost one. I'm going to be cleaning and organizing my super disastrous, disgusting pantry, and I'm bringing you guys along with me. If this is the first video of mine that you are watching, or if you are new to my channel, I would love more than anything for you to stick around and subscribe. Join this super amazing community of uplifting and encouraging women and mamas and become part of the family. I would love to have you, so please consider sticking around and subscribing. So as you can see, I was not joking about my pantry being a total and complete disaster. It's pretty small, so I don't have a ton of space to work with, but I'm going to be using these green baskets from the Dollar Tree, as well as these spice racks that I also got from the Dollar Tree, and then these white bins I got from Ikea, and then I also got the clear food containers from Ikea too. I will also link all of the Ikea stuff down below for you. It was all super affordable, so if you are interested in purchasing this stuff for yourself, you'll have links to go do so. First things first, I'm going to clear everything out of the pantry so I can really get in there once everything is out, wipe down all the shelves, wipe down the baseboards, wipe down the floor, and really clean it. We just moved in about seven months ago and I never wiped down the shelves before putting stuff away. Ew, yeah, I know, super gross. What is wrong with me? That's disgusting. So I'm sure they are just horrendous. much stuff in this little tiny pantry that I started running out of counter space and just started throwing stuff on the floor and putting it wherever I could find a space for it. And in this moment, I realized <laughs> that this was a bigger project than I had anticipated and I just got so over it. I just started pouring stuff into baskets to try to get rid of the boxes and try to get rid of as much clutter as I could and get rid of anything that was super bulky. And I'm just saying, screw it, here we go. Applesauce is on the floor, whatever. Here is the majority of the lovely mess that was in the pantry. And the shelves were not as bad as expected. I was pleasantly surprised. However, there was some popcorn up top. I'm gonna save that for later in case I get hungry and I need a snack. Just kidding, I'm not going to eat the popcorn. I'm going to wipe it up and throw it away. <laughs> If this is one of my first cleaning and organizing videos that you are watching, then you do not know that I am absolutely obsessed with the Kirkland disinfecting wipes. They have a scrubbing one and they have a regular one and they are both fantastic. I use these in all of my cleaning videos. I will link those below if you want to check those out and get some more cleaning motivation. I am using these scrubbing wipes to wipe down the shelves. I'm also going to be using these to wipe down the baseboards. They are fantastic and if you have a Costco, I highly recommend you getting them. I think you get a four pack for $9.99 or $11.99, but they're super affordable and durable and so amazing. I cannot speak highly enough about them. So the shelves weren't as bad as expected, but they definitely were not clean. That is for sure. That's gross. And now that 
everything is nice and clean and wiped down, I'm going to start organizing and putting stuff away. I am putting our Ziploc bags in this basket that I got from Ikea as well as our extra trash bags. <laughs> going to be using these spice rack shelves that I got from the dollar store to organize our canned goods like beans and all of that stuff so that we can actually see what we have in the pantry rather than just shoving it in there and stacking them on each other. So I'll just warn you now, throughout the video, I'm sure you are going to see me rearranging stuff and putting stuff in different places even after I've put it away. I don't have a ton of space to work with, this is not a huge pantry, so I'm going to try my best to make this smaller space work for us and try to get it as organized as possible. So I am totally loving these Ikea bins, the white bins that I got from Ikea, and I'm going to be using this one for our pasta boxes. It's meant to hang on something, but it is the perfect size for these long pasta boxes. So that's what I'm going to be using it for. And then I am also using this green basket that I got from the Dollar Tree to organize the kids' snacks. I'm going to be using a bunch of the Dollar Tree stuff for the kids' snacks. I like to have Tegan's snacks easily accessible so I have moved them to the lower shelf so that he can help himself to a snack and pick stuff out on his own. So I'm using this super cute white Ikea bin to organize our K-cup pods and then I'm also going to be putting some tea that we have in this little bin with the K-cup pods to try to keep our tea and our coffee together. And then I'm going to use the basket that those were in to organize Corey's beer just to make it look nicer. It doesn't necessarily have to go in a basket, it was in a perfectly fine box, but it looks sleeker and cleaner this way. And now I am going to be putting oatmeal and cereal and then some crackers in those food containers that were previously washed and just give it a sleeker, cleaner look rather than having bags and boxes everywhere. going to continue trying to find the perfect place for everything so that I know where stuff is and I can find it super easy when we need it. So I put some of my favorite snacks in this green basket and put those on the lower shelf because Tegan likes them too. I put our vitamins in this small green basket and I like to keep them in the pantry so that I remember to take them and so that I can remember to give them to Tegan. I'm always in and out of the pantry getting the kids a snack, getting myself a snack, getting something for the dog. So I'll be able to see them and be reminded that we need to take them. This is the finished product. It may not be the most organized pantry on the planet, I know that but it is so much better than what it was. Like I said, I don't have a ton of space to work with. Tegan can find stuff easy, I can find stuff easy, and that is key, and that was the whole point of organizing our pantry. I hope that this video was helpful to you, giving you some pantry organization and cleaning motivation, if that's what you're here for, or to give you some ideas of stuff that you can use to organize and clean your pantry. I did not want to do this at all. I was dreading it. Needed to be done and I am so glad that I did it. It's so nice 
that everything has its own little place in the pantry now and everything is easy to find and easily accessible. So like I said, I hope this gives you the motivation you may be needing. Good luck with your pantry cleaning and organization. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. I would love more than anything to have you stick around. It would mean the world to me. And I hope that you guys have a super fantastic day. I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.